Well, a woman from Sichuan is under arrest after some shrewd detective work aboard a train. Now, a transport security officer named Liu Ruiguo got suspicious of a woman on a train from Chengdu to Zhengzhou. She was feeding a baby a bottle of cold milk. She was also wearing sandals, which is frowned upon for new mothers in China. She told the officer this was her fifth child. Now, she made a phone call to a man she claimed was her husband. But when Liu asked him and asked how many children the couple had, he said three. Now, after she was detained, the woman admitted paying over $2,000 for the baby in Sichuan. She was planning to sell for almost double the money in Shandong. Is now a welfare agency and are praising Liu is about to retire, saying China needs more people like him. And on to another trend topic, an incident in Jiangsu that is scaring many web users in China. You see that woman in the hospital? She was key when another woman came in, picked up a knife, and stabbed her in the back. Then the attacker said, oops, sorry, I stabbed the wrong person. The victim was rushed to the hospital, and she's okay. The attacker was arrested. Weibo users are sharing this story all over social media, many angry, but others worried, saying this could have happened to anybody, and people always have to be on high alert at all times. And finally, our last trending story, a heroic boy in Zhu with all on here. Now a two sister trapped in building big throat. Firefighters rushed in to try to get to them. When they got to the third floor, they found two in a room touching wells and cleaning their faces. They were rescued. And when firefighters asked the boy where he learned how to do that, he said he saw it on TV. And because of this, he was able to save himself and his sister. Plenty of thumbs up from Weibo users, with some saying, who knew that TV could be so educational? And that's a quick look at trending topics on Chinese social media. You can find out more about the digital hub and what's trending online. Just follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Weibo. Remember, feel free to join in and tell me what you think we should be talking about. Write me at Audrey Seek and follow us online at CGTN America.